pressure happens when you squeeze something or compress it. Solids do not compress very well. I will demonstrate. Um, solid? Is it compressing? No, okay. Liquids don't compress very well either. You can demonstrate this for yourself by getting a plastic water bottle and filling it right to the very top with water and putting on the cap and squeezing. You'll find that you can't really squeeze the bottle very much. But if you empty out half of the water, no, don't pour it on the floor, and then put the cap back on the bottle and try to squeeze it, you'll find that you can squeeze it a lot more. That's because gases compress much easier than solids or liquids. Here's what's going on. Say this container is, well, any container. And these magnets are air molecules. Now, I'm gonna put the magnets in pole to pole so they repel each other and wanna stay a certain distance apart, just like air molecules do. There we go, a container at normal gas pressure. Now, watch what happens when I add more gas molecules. They start to get squeezed together. And if I add more, the amount of space that each one gets is less and less. Now this container is under a lot of pressure. These molecules really want to escape through the top of the container, but they can't because I'm holding them down. If I took something like this plunger and I pushed them down even more, now they're really under pressure. They want to get out, but they can't because I'm holding them in. Now watch what happens when I let them go. They all pop out the top, and the container has returned to normal gas pressure. That's what happens when we put gas in a container like this one. These containers that hold compressed gas are made out of solid steel because you need something really strong or it might explode if you put too much gas pressure in it. That's why these are only filled up by professionals who know exactly how much pressure it can take. That is the power of pressure. <laughs> yeah! My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large.